Yo, yo, it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Had to come tap in on Billionaire Black Chicago, man. We was talking, uh, it came up in a live last night. One of the supporters asked me about Billionaire Black saying that he was not going to be, you know, he was going to clean up the dissing in his music. He had did an interview and I had actually watched it also with uh, Mile High Mini Club out of Denver, Colorado. Shout out to them. Go tap in everything they got going on. Uh, where he, he broke down the situation of dissing in music and how record labels that he had been talking to was telling him like, hey man, you gotta, if you gonna diss, you gotta clean it up and go subliminally with it. You, we can't really, we don't really wanna do business with you like heavily like that if you gonna be dissing and dropping names and everything in that nature because we've been seeing the backlash, the dissing of the dead names of uh, 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 the other rappers from the other side and everything like that. You've been seeing the backlash on the Instagram comments. You've been seeing in, in the videos and everything. And, you know, it's kind of one of them negative situations. You got mothers crying out and speaking out now, and it's getting a lot of steam around that, talk, around that topic. So other artists have already moved in that direction of saying they weren't going to be dissing the dead no more and they was finna end that in the music. So uh, being there, Black said, you know, he was going to start moving in that direction also. And uh, then he spoke on how an uh, artist in the game, you know what I'm saying, he got the hot song right now, Hibachi, got millions of views on YouTube, shit going crazy, the beat crazy, the vibe on the song is turned up, but being there, Black is dissing in the song. And it's, it's disrespectful. So, mother on, on the, but that's part of the Chicago culture. We know that. That's how they came in the game. That's their environment. That's their style. It's been that way. You know, the whole world has tapped into it, and we know we know what the fuck going on with it from the outside looking in. But we not really in that. We just fans of the music and the style. But other artists sometimes be like, well, I don't want to get on the song with you, bro, because you got this and this going on. And it's one of them things where, like being there, Black said, well, damn, you know, they don't want to be a part of none of the problems. But then there's other artists who will just tell them, like, straight up, like, hey, bro, I fuck with both sides. I fuck with y'all. I fuck with them. But I ain't in nothing y'all got going on, but I fuck with both of y'all. So they'll do a song with them. But being there, Black is just speaking on that situation. And he did clip, like, hey, man. We can clean this up in the music. We can stop dissing in the music, but it ain't going to change nothing in the streets. It's too much bloodshed. And that's what I like to put out there for the people that understand, man. When it, when the, you know, we, a lot of times we be wanting these artists to kind of squash these beefs and, uh, man, can y'all see eye to eye and everything like that? Because, you know, it really, in the long run, the money going to keep getting fucked up. We know we lost FBG Duck recently. We lost King Von, even though he didn't, it wasn't a Chicago situation. It's a lot of artists leaving and losing their lives in this rap beef, street beef, getting mixed in. The rap in the streets getting mixed in together. The streets going to be the streets as always. Like, Basically, that's what uh, being there black said, man. We can agree to stop doing this shit in music, but the streets going to still be the streets. Niggas ain't going to never stop being enemies in the streets because it's so much blood loss. And that's the fucked up part about this situation. And you can't fault them for that because they chose that lifestyle. They live in that lifestyle. They ready for the consequences and everything that come with, with that. And that's what I say. The streets is the streets and the streets going to move how they move. The streets don't really got rules. The streets is wicked. The streets is cutthroat, man. That's just how they work, dog. They ain't got the rules. Uh, you know, they got codes in the streets that niggas follow. Most niggas follow. Some niggas do, some niggas don't. But being there, black spoke some real shit right there. We seen other artists this week come out and say the same thing. They was going to move away from dissing in the music, dissing the dead in the music. So this is just a real good move for uh for the hip-hop culture in my opinion you know what i'm saying because it affects the mothers and the families who really don't have nothing to do with that situation so hey good looking on that situation shout out to my high mini club too man make sure y'all subscribe to their motherfucking channel shout out to my supporters on the live on uh urban politics tv live we're gonna have some more content coming everything man one thousand for shit show